Hello everyone. Today we are talking about mandatory access control and present the Bell Lapadula as well as the Biba model and explain the key differences. The idea behind mandatory access controls is that we have a centralized instance that regulates access rights via policies. Going back to our protection goals, the famous CIA triad, we only cover confidentiality and integrity via mandatory or system-wide access controls. If you want to know more about protection goals and the CIA triad in particular, you can click on the link on the top right corner of the video. Mandatory access control works if we have security layers, which is, for example, always the case in the military. These can be individual to each organization, but for example, we could have top secret, confidential, internal and public. Objects, such as documents, can now be classified to each of these security layers. Note that the scheme only works if all documents are indeed classified in a certain way. Subjects, in this case military personnel, now gain a certain clearance for each of these security layers. That way we have a multi-level system with different layers, classifications and clearances. As soon as someone now enters the organization, they get a certain clearance for the respective level their role needs. This is also called need to know principle. We now look at two models that are used to implement this system. First, we look at Bella Padula. As previously established, we have subjects, objects, operations such as read and write, and security levels, the aforementioned layers. Bell La Padula covers the protection goal of confidentiality. There are two important properties uh, Bell La Padula enforces. No read up meaning no subject in a security level can read objects that are in a security level above and no write down, meaning no subject can write to objects that are on a lower security level. From this follows that full access, read and write, is only granted on the same level. This is called the strong star property rule. An example, the captain can read and write documents on the confidential level. If he wishes to read the top secret document, he will not have the permission to do that. The same holds when he tries to write into internal or public documents. This way, no information travels downwards from higher security level to lower ones. No information that is confidential can ever travel to objects with, for example, internal clearance. Let's now look at the BBAR model. This model is the reverse of the Bell Lapadula model and covers the protection goal integrity. It states that there can be no write up and no read down. Intuitively, that does not make a lot of sense, but remember that we want to protect the integrity of information. The captain might not know everything the general knows, which is why he is not allowed to change any information that is classified as top secret. In the same way, information that is public or internal might not be on the same high standard as confidential information. So our goal is that no bad information can travel upwards, which is why he is not allowed to read anything that's classified below such that this lower classified information might affect, for example, confidential or even top secret information. Both models are enforced via policies and access rules that are used in practice by the military only, as far as I'm aware. In companies, role-based access models are used, which I will talk about in another video. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching, tell me in the comments which topics you would like me to cover, like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.